Good evening and welcome to another edition of Sports Night. I'm Jarrett Roloff. The Red Sox continue their nine-game road trip tonight when Josh Beckett takes the mound against Tim Hudson in Atlanta. The Sox got roughed up last night and we got the highlights. Let's take the reel. Top two, Coco Criffs facing Chuck James and Chris wins this battle. The solo home run is his third of the year and the Sox are up one nothing. We head to the bottom of the fourth, runners on first and second for Brian McCann he doubles to left center to score Edgar Renria and gives the Braves a 2-1 lead. Later in the inning, two outs, bases loaded for Chuck James, and he singles to score Chipper Jones. Braves are up 3-1. Bottom five, two on, one out. Brian McCann takes this pitch deep to right center for his fifth of the season. 6-1 Braves. McCann finished the game with four RBIs, and the Braves went on to win 9-4. In other baseball news, the MLB has handed out suspensions for the wild brawl between the Cubs and the Padres last Saturday at Wrigley. Cubs first baseman Derek Lee and Padres pitcher Chris Young were suspended five games each and fined undisclosed amounts for their part in the bench-clearing brawl. Cubs hitting coach Gerald Young was suspended three games for his role, and Padres Jake Peavy and Brian Giles were also fined undisclosed amount for their participation. The brawl started after Young hit Lee with a pitch near his head. The two then exchanged words before Lee took a wild swing at Young, setting off the brawl. If by any chance you haven't been paying attention, the recent trend in the AL East is the Yankees winning and the Red Sox losing. Anytime this trend happens, the reaction from Red Sox Nation is always interesting. Wanting to take a closer look, I went to Fenway and got the fans' take on the recent surge by the Yankees. Starting June with a 22-29 and record, the Yankees were in last place in the American League East and 13 and a half games behind the Red Sox. Since the beginning of their series with Boston, however, New York has jumped over 500 and is now within 10 games of the league leading Red Sox. So are Sox fans concerned? I think the Sox are going to be fine. I think everyone's kind of Yankee crazy and uh, this year we don't have to worry about them. We're going to be fine. It's going to make the summer a little interesting. And uh, what would it be without the you know, Sox and the Yanks going you know, toe-to-toe -to -toe for the division? Considering the usual September-October blues here in Boston with the Yankees surging, it's always a kind of a, a problem. If history is any indicator, the Yankees still have a good chance of winning the division. In 1978, New York trailed Boston by 14 games late in July. However, the Yankees rallied and won the division in a one-game playoff series when Bucky Dent hit his famous home run. We're hearing a lot about 1978 now and the big collapse. Most of these players either weren't born or about two years old. Theo Epstein was four years old in 1978. So they know about it, but I don't think it affects them personally. And I think sometimes uh, they don't understand why the fans think so much about it. I don't think it's a big factor in the clubhouse, certainly not in June. The Red Sox fans always overreact. They're ready to jump off the Tobin Bridge. Um, everything's a crisis and of course they get carried away the other way too when things are going so well. Actually some people when things go too well say why are they going so well? What's going to happen? Only the rest of the season will tell if history repeats itself and Red Sox fans have reason to jump off the Tobin Bridge. For Sports Night, I'm Jarrett Roloff. Arrests, suspension and prison terms didn't shake the Chicago Bears faith in Tank Johnson through the Super Bowl. But now the team has had enough. Bears waved Johnson on Monday three days after he was stopped for driving under the influence in Arizona. Although Johnson does not face formal charges for the incident, the team felt the de defensive tackle couldn't be trusted in any capacity. Johnson is now a, a free agent, but won't start the beginning of the 2007 season. He will serve an eight-game suspension next season for violating probation on a gun charge. That's going to do it for another edition of Sports Night. If you're making plans for the fourth, don't worry about the supply of hot dogs for the grill. Four-time world eating champion Takuro Kobayashi injured his jaw and will not participate in this year's hot dog eating competition. That's a shame. Happy Independence Day, everybody. I'm Jared Roloff, out like Kobayashi at Coney Island.